Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 9th, 10th, and 11th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from my Cancers. Hello, my Cancers. How are you? I hope doing great. Now, this is the weekend reading, so I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Yeah, we're getting closer to that 15th. Things should be lightening up for you, um, you know, that energy. And you should be, you know, actually, I feel like you're flying. I feel like you're flying. Maybe you're flying somewhere. But I feel like you're, um, I feel like you're in a higher place than you've been in a long time. Now, let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. Three cards, face down. All of them reversed. You know what that means? That means it's a strong message for my Cancer. So let's see what we have here. Wednesday, I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know what's going to happen Wednesday, Thursday. Go back to that reading, but some, somehow Wednesday came up to me. But, okay, first card, the Nine of Fire. You've, I think, have you had this recently? The Nine of Fire, yes, I think you've had this recently. And this is a position of strength. Now, fire energy is... Um, our Leo, you're in Leo season right now. It's also Sagittarius Aries. It's, it's, you know, fire. It's burning. It can be very destructive, but it can be very helpful to us also. And I do love her because I love her strength. Now, this is male or female. This is you are, you are entering this weekend or you are going into this weekend or you are coming into this weekend from a position of strength. Okay, it's like the world has righted itself for you and you now know what you need to do. So don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Now, in, in some ways you could take that as, oh, no, don't, you know, don't give up. Well, am I going to have some more fights? You know, life is part of fights. Life is always, you know, negative energy versus positive energy, good versus evil. That's always going to be there. But you are more grounded. I really feel a grounding energy for you. And I really feel that, you know, you now have validity behind you, too. Okay. Next card. The two of fire. Again, this fire energy. So Leo season seems like it's going to be very powerful for you. And this is about, you know, this is, you know, really, you can tell, you know, you can take a look. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contacts continue to move forward. Okay, very, very strong energy. Very energy about, you know, you, you know, I don't know if something got settled. It's more that you know, you have a more, your base has solidified. Okay, it's not the shifting sands anymore. It is a stronger base for you. And it's like, yeah, this is, you know, this is, this is a, again, a position of strength. Wow. Okay. But the thing is, again, continue to move forward, have courage and believe in yourself. So something could be changing for you. And, it, it, you know, it's, it's always kind of like, be careful what you wish for, because it could come. But I think that for my cancers, um, you know, maybe you've been, you know, holding off for such a long time of really having hope and wishes. And now that things are actually um, revealing themselves in a positive light for you, you might feel a little kind of like, oh, do I trust it? Next card. Oh my goodness. Okay. Again, seven of fire. So this is all about this fire energy, this very passionate energy, burning energy. And this tells you again, again, to defend your beliefs and your decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So here it is. It's like, you know, maybe you have won, you know, we've been talking about those battles. We've been talking about the wars. That's way back. Maybe you have won the war, actually the war, um, you know, but yet there's these little, you know, not everybody has heard that yet. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's not the message, you know, to lay down arms has not been heard yet. Or you have won a very significant battle. And it's still, even though this, you know, even though you won this significant battle, people, you know, whatever this energy is keeps, you know, trying to like pick at you. You know what? It's just, just think of them as nets. Okay. 
it's gnats, G-N-A-T-S. It's, you know, those little bugs and just kind of like flick them off. And that's, and believe in yourself, okay? Because you have a couple of cards that are basically defend your, you know, defend your, um, you know, defend your beliefs and decisions. Don't give up. Have courage. Believe in yourself. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. You've come into your own. Very, very strong energy for you, my Cancers. Whew, very strong. So, I like it for you. This is our weekend. But remember, too, you know, this, this energy, you know, these are fluid energies. And this could last a lot longer than just this weekend. So, my Cancers, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.